How's it going, everyone? My name is Gabe Peterson. I am an investor up here in Washington State, as well as the host of the Real Estate Investing Club podcast at therealestateinvestingclub.com. So check that out if you feel so inclined. Um, today is about mobile home parks, though. So me and my partners are focusing on uh, mobile home park acquisitions and RV parks. Um, so far, we were taking down our third one. We're, we're about to close our third one now. Um, so we don't have a ton of experience. I mean, there's plenty of people out there with, with, you know, hundreds of parks, well, not hundreds of parks, but <laughs> many, many parks in their, in their portfolio. Uh, but you know, I feel like we've got some good experience and I wanted to hop on here and share a little bit about, um, you know, what I have found coming from single family and multifamily, um, you know, the experiences I've found and, uh, and kind of share that knowledge with you guys. So I hope you enjoy um, this video is about how to buy mobile home or RV parks, specifically how to find them. You know, if you're if you're considering a mobile home or an RV park, uh, that means you you probably have experience in real estate. This isn't going to be your first real estate purchase, so you know how to buy a property. Um, that my guess is your your main holdup is you can't find the good property. Um, I'm going to put a another video on due diligence. So if that's your your uh, mistake or if that's what you're getting holed up on, um, you know, we can put that, I'll put that in another video and you can look through that. But this one is about how to find, I should really just do how to find a mobile home or RV park. Um, but here it's gonna, I'm gonna label it, how to buy a mobile home or RV park. And um, we're starting off with on market and, uh, uh, and LoopNet. Um, so LoopNet is, I'm gonna switch this over, is, uh, you know, it's one of the best commercial listing places out there. If you're looking for something on market, um, we have yet to find a really good deal on market that, you know, they do exist. They're out there. I'm not saying it's a bad, bad way to go, but, um, you know, I haven't found one yet, uh, but LoopNet is one option. Another one is commercialmls.com. Um, that's another place that people list them. Um, RV Park Store. I think it's RV. I think it's RV Park Store is another one. Um, again, on market is another way. It is not the way that we usually go. Um, we, we're really good at off market. So, but I wanted to put these down because I know these are options. Um, and then the next one is your, you know, local commercial agent is uh, is a really good way to find, um, you know, parks that are on market. Off market though. So this is where we shine. This is how we find our parks. Um, and it's very, very effective, mostly because uh, a lot of parks are older and they're run by mom and pops. Uh, mom and pop owners. And so, you know, they, they're older, you know, they're getting to the point where they, they're thinking about retiring. They're not there yet. They're not ready to go to an agent yet. Um, so that's an opportunity for you to jump in and, uh, you know, have a conversation with them and see if, um, see if they're willing to sell. So the best off market uh, strategies that we use is it all starts first with good data. You have to have good data. You have to have, uh, you know, the, the contact information of the owners of the parks it's the only way for you to be able to do this. Um, so good data. It all starts with good data. If you're looking for a list, you can actually go on the Department of Homeland Security. They have an entire, you know, an entire data dump of, you know, the 50,000 parks that are in the United States. So check out Department of Homeland Security's um, website. They have good data there. It's just going to be kind of the basics from there. You're going to have to skip trace it, but it's a good start. Once you have good data, uh, you can start cold calling. Um, you can do VAs, you can do it yourself. Cold calling is is very effective. Takes a lot of time, takes a lot of effort, very effective. Uh, after that is ringless voicemail. This is where um, I, I like this more than text blasting because I feel like text blasting is a little bit more intrusive. Ringless voicemail just kind of drops in their, in their voicemail inbox um, and they can delete it without even you know listening to it if they don't want to. But it's a good way to get in contact with many people quickly. Um, and after that is direct mail, uh, you know, sending people an actual letter. We've had success with this because many of the owners, they don't, you know, they don't use compute. They're really old. <laughs> I mean, no offense to them, but they are, they're, they're older. They're, you know, in the seventies, um, sometimes even their eighties and they, they do not use technology the way that, uh, you know, younger generations do. And so they, they're not going to see your, um, your ringless voicemail because they might just have a, a regular ro rotary dial phone. Um, not rotary dial. If they did that. They'd be really old, but, uh, you know, direct mail is a way to get there, um, without, without having to deal with the technology. The last way is digital marketing. We've had a lot of success with this. Um, you know, some of the owners, they are good at, uh, at technology. And so they will see your, your, 
um, you know, your ad that pops across their screen. If you do digital marketing, the, the most effective cost per dollar, you know, the best ROI you're going to get on, um, on your spend is through remarketing. So, you know, you put all your stuff out there, they go to your website, they leave, and then you get them again. So it's that remarketing dollar that's really going to bring in uh, the most leads for you at the, at the lowest cost. So that is how, uh, that's how we find deals. Um, that's how we find the deals that we've taken down so far. You know, we bought uh, the three deals that we've bought have been like a 21 cap and an 18 cap. And uh, what's the one that we're doing right now? Well, on paper, it's like a four cap, but uh, it's very, you know, it's the low occupancy. So once we fill it up, it'll be, I think it was like a 24 cap. It's really good. Um, so we, you know, we find really good deals this way and this is how we do it off market. Uh, so that's, that's the advice I got for you guys today for mobile home parks. Um, I will do another one on due diligence. Um, and so if you guys want to check that out, uh, look at the next video. Other than that, hope you guys have a good day and uh, look forward to seeing you on the, on the next episode. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Real Estate Investing Club. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode as much as I enjoyed putting it on and we're able to pull some actionable advice that you can apply in your own investing today in the field. Before you go, we have a gift for you. If you're a new investor looking to get started or an established investor looking to invest, take your investing to the next level. I've created an ebook just for you available on our website. This ebook, ebook will cover how I was able to create both active and passive income in real estate with very little money to start with. In it, I will address the three most often cited obstacles new and veteran investors run into by showing you how to find deals that are actually deals, how to finance a deal with little to no money down and how to exit those deals for maximum value. And if you get the ebook today, I am throwing in a bundle of bonuses, seven of them to be exact. To, the first one will be the off-market lead generation blueprint, which will take you through the exact systems and processes we use to generate off-market leads like, clock, like clockwork, which is the most important skill when it comes to creating wealth in real estate. The second bonus is the A to Z REI systems and vendors guide, which will allow you to peek under the hood of our business and see the exact tools, systems, and even the vendors we use to see the success that we do. And the third bonus is the top 100 best performing keywords pack, which is which will give you the exact keywords we use to target motivated sellers online using PPC ads. The fourth bundle is, or the first fourth bonus is our contracts bundle for wholesaling and renting real estate, which will give you access to all the contracts we use in the field to execute all different types of transactions. After that is the investors quick analysis calculator and offer tool, which will allow you to quickly calculate whether a deal is an actual deal and will allow you to create an offer automatically with, from those calculations. This is a lot of, uh, a lot of bonuses that I said, I'm just going to keep going down the list. Number six is the investor's daily success tracker, which is a tracker you can use to ensure you are taking the right actions day in and day out to reach your financial goals in real estate. And the last bonus is the wholesalers template for quick assignment cash, which will give you the templates we use to present our wholesale deals professionally and efficiently to our buyers. Whew, that is a bundle. So it's a mouthful. You get all of those bonuses for free when you download the ebook. All we charge is the admin cost to run the show. So if you're interested in the ebook and the bonus bundle, head on over to the website at therealestateinvestingclub.com. Click on get the ebook bundle at the top of the page to take advantage of that deal. And with that said, I hope you have a fantastic day and even better week. Keep rocking real estate. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. <laughs>